Hey everybody, welcome back to the Golden Goblet. Day 3. I am happy to report I won day 1 narrowly over Mouth. He had a, a higher pure score. However, my score was higher once you factor in the extra 100 grand you get for beating Yama, but it was close. Day 2, I got no idea, but I'm, I, you know, I feel good about my score. All we can do is play our game, and you know what? Having had two very nice runs so far, first off, I'm thankful. Secondly, I'm uh, thinking maybe, if depending on how the run takes off, we could amp it up a little. You know, maybe I could start spending a few more bombs once we get bomb rich. As is, that was close. <laughs> As is, I think we're doing great and I've got very few complaints. Uh, you know, I've said I'm not a vault ghoster and I stand by that because I find it not that exciting. But if the, if the mood strikes, you know, maybe I'm not saying we'll do it. All I'm saying is, you know, never say never. Hannah Montana. For now, though, I, I feel the nerves. I feel the adrenaline. I feel the the stakes. And even though there's no stakes, it kind of feels like there's there's uh, you know ribeyes on the line. You know what I mean? Here's the thing: if you put like a one hundred dollar cash prize on this, wouldn't care. But bragging rights are are priceless. Now, if you put a one thousand dollar price on this one. I would probably care. In hindsight, I think we should have spent a bomb. I wonder if we could do it. This is a bold play, so I would very much like to be rewarded. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but you gotta admit there was some good platforming that went on there. It's a bomb and a rope, unfortunately, but what do we get? Honestly? Not a terrible return on our investment. And we're moving on. Second floor is very pivotal. Make sure you're not nervous. You know, take a deep breath. Because that first shop... Killing that first shopkeeper... If it's worth something, you gotta do it right away. I'm trying to make sure we're not leaving... You know, originally, the thing... <laughs> On run one, you don't know how the, uh, the other guys are going to shake out, you know? You know, you don't know if Dan's going to bust out a quarter million. You don't know if Malf's going to, you know, have a 900,000 run. There's no offense to Dan. I think he would, you know, admit that that's like an honest appraisal of where we stand. It's not to say Dan can't win. That's the beauty of Spelunky, dude. But now, now that I know the, you know, the score that Malf put up day one, I'm like... Extra committed. I think we should. I think we should. Focus. Okay. Step one accomplished. I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest if I mostly did this for the climbing gloves, by the way. Um if there was the Ujad Eye, we would have seen it. We would have seen one component of it. Now, the, the floor algorithm here has not been particularly kind, I will admit. Just want to take a look. You know, we, we got to spend a lot to get a, a viewpoint here, but it is what it is. All right, three bombs, three ropes, though. It leaves you in a, a pretty spicy position, but... It's okay. Probably won't be ghosting any vaults on floor one. <laughs> this is one of those ones where I'm like, you know... Oh, that, even just this drop is a little spicy. Okay, we're good. We're good. Just gotta calm yourself. Remind yourself it's okay. That's an Ujad Eye right down there. Okay, maybe not. The Ujedi has to be on one of the first three levels, right? 
Or am I thinking of exclusively of the black market? Like, I know the black market works like that, but... I mean, I guess in theory you could make it to the black market sans Ujadai, but uh, it's not something you want to rely on. Now, I learned a little tip from Melf, I'm not afraid to say. It's all about line of sight. Line of sight. Line of sight. We got line of sight. Pop him. Pop him. Pop him. Pop him. Pop him. Pop him. Don't stop popping him. He's dead. <laughs> Okay. So far, so good, dude. So far, so good, dude. But I do not see a new Jedi. And that's got me sweating it ever so slightly. I think this floor, we had pretty good coverage. We would have seen it. I hope. It's the, it's the three bombs, no paste, that's got me freaking right now. We're going to have to... I'm not saying it's impossible, because that's obviously just dumb. Hopefully that's just a Vault Lord. Um, but we I would love to have some more bombs, because we need three to just make it to the black market, potentially. Oh, the future's so bright, I gotta wear shades. Okay. So just... I know I'm not really... I'm not getting up to too many... Oh, there he is. Not getting up to too many shenanigans here early. It's because I'm I'm bomb poor. You know you gotta keep your confidence high. I I love the paste and I love the rubies. If we really had to, very dangerous time here. We could. Just take the Matic. You really don't want to leave this guy behind, though. Because he could pop out it and ruin our lives. What are you doing? Can you just, like, just get out of your shop? Now fall slightly further down. Okay, I think he's <laughs> I think he's gone. This is a very, very spicy start, dude. Keep in mind that after all this, you know, we're still trying to get the the freaking black market. And there's another activated shopkeeper. Oh my god. Okay, well, grab the gun. Yeah, I see the chest, okay? This might be one. Gotta be a little bit more cautious. I see the key. You know what I don't see? Is the other shopkeeper's gold? He's stuck! Oh my god. Okay. So straight up. Obviously I'm stoked. Two bombs is dangerous, but I'm happy with where we're at. Um, we could have taken the Matic as well, but then we don't have any recourse for killing shopkeepers. And of course there's shopkeepers freaking everywhere. So there is a black market on this floor. It is right here. The dream is very simple. We found it on one bomb. I honestly think that in and of itself is going to put us in rare company. <laughs> I kind of think we got to go a step further, though. Like, I think we got to try to murder this shopkeeper. And unfortunately, is he, is he stuck or is he going to come to life? I think it's a ropeless endeavor, or a ropeful endeavor to, to try. I will spend the bomb. He's now activated, just fall. Come on. Come on, dude. I have no bombs, so like... Yeah. 
You really, like, won't leave? I'm just... Come on! Okay, we did it. <laughs> oh, very spooky, sir. Oh, the black market's on this floor. Um, I was being sarcastic. Honestly, I will also use one bomb to fish. I regret it a little, but I think most people would probably do a similar thing there. I mean, the thing is, three bombs is not that much more than two bombs. But... All honestly, <laughs> I think I would take whatever I can get. It's such a bomb-poor seed, dude. Are you guys not gonna blast each other at some point? Let's go. I can wait. I don't wanna wait, but I can wait. This, you don't, you don't go on that one. No! That's the first time in Golden Goblet that the shopkeepers have laid hands on me. I almost had a heart attack. But we got out of it and we got some bombs, dude. Next step, send him a cascade. That was too fast. I apologize. That's right. I know what a cascade is now. Oh my god, he beginning to believe it. He got hit, and gold came out. It's usually a good sign. There are living shopkeepers, but we don't necessarily need to fish for the spike shoes. You know, you're not gonna like this from a gold standpoint, it's a bad play. But from the standpoint of like, I'm alive so I don't really care. I think I'm very, very happy to be here right now. 24 bombs is still enough. We picked up a little gold we wouldn't have otherwise gotten. And we're out. Okay. Honestly, this is by far the hardest of all of the dailies uh, to have gotten this far. So I'm extremely pleased. And hey, there's, there's two beautiful things about the Ankh. You already know this. One beautiful thing about the Ankh. Is that a shop? It is a shop. With a jetpack and a bomb box. We're gonna cascade him again. And just get out of there. I think I could I could literally be killed here. So I'm just When I say literally, it's not for emphasis. What I mean is I think mathematically he could get here. Look, there's bomb boxes in there. Is it an inefficient use of my bombs? Probably. Am I the best Spelunky player on Earth? No. That's why we make plays. Kind of makes sense. 12 bombs. A yet pack. <laughs> Are you feeling it? There's a chance for a third heck victory? Remember, you are also mortal. <laughs> One piranha. So so spicy. So hot right now. Just taking it slow. I'm I'm overjoyed right now. I'm having a great time. 
I would love to get another Kapala situation. Will I be ghosting the vaults? Honestly, on a future floor is possible, dude. I definitely do want the dog. We've fallen a little bit on hard times as far as HP goes. Not a lot, but a little. And maybe I can find it within myself to do some very, very light min-maxing. Never mind. We will move on. I was going to grab the Matic and, and get some gems, but yeah, we took too long. That's fair. No shame there. We'll, we'll look at it to the future. Because now I know, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm less apprehensive now, and I'm more like, hey, I got some Spelunky skills. You know, we're not we're not setting new records or anything like that, but we put down some... I, I was talking in Malf's chat, and I was like, Malf is Barry Bonds. You know, for a baseball analogy, he's always going for home runs. You know, he's going for that million point run. I am Ichiro. My, my whole thing is just, hey, get on base. You know, if I, if I have runs that, that make it to the, the red level. This is so good, dude. If I have runs that make it to the red level, I know I have very little to concern myself with. Okay, watch out for his shotgun. That's not to say, like, we're gonna win those runs. All it is, is to say, uh, you know, we've at least got a... We're in the game. Like EA Sports. So this feels like one where, to be honest with you... You might consider Ghost in the Vault a little. How are you going to kill the shopkeeper? Haven't really considered it, to be honest. I think with 50 bombs, you think about opening a straight shot to him. And honestly, this is not an efficient use of a bomb, but just to make this part a little bit less treacherous, I'll spend a little to make that part a little less treacherous. Okay, if you want to straight shot this guy. I'm going to spend two bombs. I know, it's getting it's getting pricey. I don't know. I don't know if this is... It, let me rephrase. Is it worth it? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Is it worth it for me? That I don't know. Can we, does the ghost kill the shopkeeper? Nope. Okay, I'm leaving and I apologize. Because I think we could have done it and we wasted a lot of bombs to try. But it's a learning experience, you know? I'm, we're, we're not playing for the highest score out of seven days. We're, we're playing for the best daily challenge per day. And I think I'm making decisions right now that are slightly... It's like working out. It's slightly expanding my comfort zone um, and, and improving, you know, our ability to play. But I don't want to go too hard and, you know, tear my meniscus. I'm happy just to be on the ice caves, to be honest. No bombs. Just, just to have made it to the ice caves yet again. Very exciting. It's exciting times for me. Pretty poor floor here. I mean, I gotta admit, after the runs we put down, there is a little part of me that's like, NL, if you play your cards right, brother, you could be going up. Three games to zero here.
You gotta admit, that was sick. Thank you to the person who posted about cascading on the subreddit, by the way, allowing us to do tricks like that. Um, there was no Maui head on this one, so we're, we're heading now. Um, the, the visions of, of going up 3-0 are starting to dance in my head. Especially, you know, I don't even know if we're up 2-0, but I, I needled Mouth a little bit about his day two, and he said it wasn't his best daily. Which could mean that he got like 900,000, but I think in in the parlance of our times probably means he, he didn't do as well as on the first day. So I think we got a real chance. And then I'm looking at today's daily and I'm like, dude, honestly, of the three so far, this was the hardest one to get to this point. So, you know, we might be in a situation where, to be honest, we're the second best Spelunky player, but we put together a pretty dominant three spot. Let's not count our chickens yet. We, we haven't even gotten, you know, like one-sixth of where we want to be, points-wise. Should not be there. That is a very dangerous situation, and with 42 bombs, there's really no point. Did you fall? Gotta be a little spice down here. Everybody's fallen. There was no head on this level. So here's my thing about bombs. NL, you got 42 bombs. Use them. I hear you. I hear you loud and clear you. However, I don't really want to use bombs yet because I don't know how many I'll need. I would much rather save them till the city of gold and then use them there when I'm, you know, much less likely to, you know, accidentally use too many. Just my two cents right now. Just my two cents. Okay, you, you love to see the vault. Usually on this floor, you can just free the shopkeeper. There's the head. So we do want to die and respawn. But I think we also, on this floor, the ice caves really feel like the easiest ghost level of all. Because there's so few, there's so much space and so few enemies, right? Oh, oh, I forgot there was <laughs> some momentum on that play. Don't blast me, please, sir. Really? Slightly spiced. Now, you know what? Another way to get some easy cash actually participate in taking these as 15 G's take it to the bank and now the moment of truth <laughs> is upon us what do you think the odds are we could get this guy to sacrifice himself he already he had a diamond innately yo let's go me I'm like hey do this then don't lose the the gems so I think you you crack this right here and then run and watch <laughs> sacrifice yourself coward he's dead all right so then we are gonna ghost this one I know it's a new era the most important thing Make sure you kite the ghost so that he uh, doesn't kill you in the, the Maui head. Sorry, I got a very itchy ear. What are we going to do in the meantime? Honestly, like I, I want to make sure the ghost spawns in the right spot. So we could probably sack town some bodies, but I don't think there's very many. And there's probably some gold, but I would rather spawn the ghost right here. I know I said I wouldn't do it. This is a rarity for me. Okay, so now that the ghost has come out. I think we gotta get him to do two passes, probably. We'll do this one straight across. 
If we go fast enough, we could probably do it in like one and a half passes. But then we gotta get the actual money for ourselves, you know? And I don't know, maybe if you get killed by the ghost. I'm not saying this is how it works, but it might be how it works. If you get killed by the ghost, you may not um, come back through the Maui head. Okay, so now, I think kite him over here. Dip low. Grab the goods. That's 90,000. I am like, dude, you should sack yourself. Oh, but then we won't get the Kapala. We will just activate the Kapala but not receive it. So I think that's actually a very dumb and bad play that I don't I don't think is very smart at all. Every time with the parachute. Okay. Now we're working on borrowed time yet again. We do, we do not have two lives, but that's okay. We should have taken the dog to the sacrifice altar for sure. Ooh. You know? Just relax. You really... How much do you want to go over there? <laughs> That was really where I was at there. I was like, you know, taking a lot of potential risk for essentially no uh, reason here. That I can think of. How did you not fall, dude? Nothing of value there. I do love the ice caves, though. If you, if you made me pick what my favorite Spelunky floor was, I would say the ice caves. I think it's just the easiest floor, for one. The least dense of all the floors. Watch this. Dude! The Cascade is the smartest thing I've ever learned in this whole game. Although I do think his shotgun has disappeared. Is there really no alien up there? Oh, uh, just... <laughs> disaster. Um, cascading. So, so hot right now. We don't need to go that way. Why, why throw extra risk into it, you know? Did, just make sure. Certainly to me, it appears his shotgun is gone. Take me down. Okay, okay. This is the, the temple. Things get messy down here. Mistakes can happen in a heartbeat. Like spawning next to this guy. I would describe that as a good start. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking. What are you thinking, NL? I'm thinking we're about to be on 40 bombs, roughly, headed to the City of Gold. And I'm thinking I got the patience to handle this. I, I hate it, don't get me wrong. Oh, there's two of you. I see. Very, very simple. It's a simple task. The mummies drop rubies. And the chickens have large talents. So you just wait it out. There you go. Very smart play. Almost always worth it. Even... I'm not mad at the ropes. Look, can you just, like, get out so I can... Whip you... And then, never have to worry about you again, hopefully. Okay. Now, if you are a smart Spelunky player... You just do that. 
I don't, you're going to be like, NL, what happened? When did you get good at Spelunky? I don't know the answer to your question. But I'm happy it did happen. Don't forget that. I do want the shotgun. I think we'll just leave, though. I mean, you can't take the shotgun with us, so I'm not sweating it too much. I'm not sweating it uh, too much. Okay, okay, okay. That's, that's Spelunky right there. Is a lot of quiet followed by moments of pure hype. <laughs> pure excitement. Oh, dude. Absolutely. We'll take my time through here. Three more ropes. I have to be honest, I'm getting a little sick of the ropes at that point, but what's done is done. I mean, I would still happy to have a, a balance of both. Yes, I see the, the thwomp. And to be honest with you, I like this play right here. I thought it would open up a path. If I'd known that it wouldn't open a path, I wouldn't have spent two bombs on it. It's the vault. <laughs> Where the heck is the, the city of gold, man? right there dude so let's prioritize that honestly I think I'm just out although I will admit the thought of getting the shotgun drives a lot of value for me Too fast. Yeah. I think I think we should leave. Honestly, we can use our bombs to get shopkeepers later. Getting a little too out there, I think, with the cascades. But hey, we didn't throw good money after bad. That's the important part. Yes, we could have vaulted there, but I, I don't want to make things like unfair for the rest of the people in the challenge. I think that's anti-fun. Like, I want to win, but I'm predominantly concerned with just everybody having a good time. Feels so good to say that. I know if Malf heard that, he'd be like, oh, you. Listen, I was the first person to get one million in the PC version of Spelunky. Now look at you. <laughs> I don't know, he might crush me today. Some of my hopes and dreams about today's daily are admittedly predicated on uh, the fact that it was hard to get to this point to begin with. Are there shop... There's no shopkeepers on the City of Gold? Oops. <laughs> oh, there is one! <laughs> I'm hoping he gets, he gets hit by something. I'm glad we activated him, honestly. He, I mean, he's not jumping up here, I think. That would... Honestly, be the most deserved death of all time, though. Okay. This is a very, very good floor. To bomb. Ladies. And gentlemen. <laughs> there have been poggers level plays in Spelunky before. Has anything ever approached that level?
<laughs> Don't want to go too hard. I'm not going to operate on the assumption that we're going to get zero bombs. From uh, the... Uh, Oh, I don't know if I want to go that way anymore. I'm not going to operate on the assumption that we're going to get zero bombs from... The Olmec fight, but it's probably a good assumption. 21 bombs is a great spot to be headed to in here. I, I can't believe we're here, to be honest. And if you had told me that we would have three Olmec fights in the first three Golden Goblet videos, I would have told you, first off, possible. Secondly, I don't believe you. And yet, here we are. <laughs> Doing the unthinkable. Okay, so very important for me to get some bombs. Every every little bit counts. That's why you protect yourself. You don't want to get hit by that chest. Compass. No, oh, thank you. And at this point, when we had done this twice, and I, I'm not saying we're going to beat Yama yet, but if we had done this, when, when we had done this twice in a row, I mean to say, I was very proud of us. Now I'm like, dude, we brought our A game. Just doing like a little Spelunky style tournament is fun. Doing it right is even better. So you're here. All right. So here's the thing, brother. I'm going to need to... It's not going to be a speed run world record, I'll tell you that much. Get him all the way over here. Run for your life, and then... Oh, he munch. He munch. I think this is roughly the borderline. Get some gems along the way, but save some bombs! It, you know, if we... I would much rather win a run than just be like, oh, we used our bombs so efficiently. I mean, that's obviously... Of course, everyone's in the exact same boat there, but like... You get what I mean? Sweetheart. I would rather have bombs left over and be like, ah, we could have gotten more money. Then run out of bombs, die, and be like, ah, I shouldn't have gotten that gold. Okay, here. Come this way, sir. I would love to get you to fall right into this gap. R slash oddly satisfying. Okay. It's gonna be hotter. And that's okay. We got out of the first degree of spice. That's the important part. So we're gonna have to use one more layer of bombs. I've, I've openly acknowledged on many occasions the Olmec fight is one of the weakest parts of my game. Everybody's aware of this fact. It is not a... It's not a revelation. is a skill that, that should be worked on, for certain. And we just want to make sure my man's actually gonna fall in the right spot here. This, this is better. Oh, NL, it's so hard to watch you uh, do the Olmec fight and win every round of Golden Goblet. Oh. We're in. <laughs> okay, dokie. Luigi wins by doing absolutely everything. Now, I have a strat for Bullet Heck. The strat is. Don't try to min-max the hardest level in the game.
You just live, forehead? If you pick up some gold, great. Okay, can't really stand there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you scared me, sir. You, you frightened me. You frightened me. You gave me a mighty fright. A cape. No, thank you, sir. I see my line. I think it's there. Check this out. Physically recoiled in my chair. That's how close I was to my own demise. But we opened up a path. You don't need to ice the shopkeeper. First off, he can... He's more than capable of doing that himself. And honestly, I, I don't see what could get us here, but it's just like just the principle of the matter scared the crap out of me. But we've done it. There's one. <laughs> I don't trust this dog. I'm not getting closer. Not getting any closer. Foul temptress. Just keep your head on straight here. Ropes. No reason to, to die with 40 ropes in hand. Radio silence for a temporary period. <laughs> There's a play. That's the play. Hello, Dracula. I hate that. Why are you so bad? And I think that's probably gonna do it for this floor. Still got 12 bombs remaining. Technically, don't even need any bombs for Yama, because you get some when the when the fight starts. So I'm like, dude. Forget. <laughs> the left side of the screen does not exist, as far as I'm concerned. Serves no no purpose. Whoa. Thank you. Kinda needed that. Oh, I thought he maybe could fall. Dunk 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 dunk. Sorry, I released it too early. Yo, 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 yo. So, oh, <laughs> anyway, I started blasting. Shopkeeper's already dead. Take the easy way out. You're safe. There's one more rotator. Let's go, boys. We made it to Bullet Hex Terminus for the third time in three videos. And, oh boy. What a world we find ourselves living in today. With a potential third score. That was higher than the two that came before it. I'm absolutely loving life right now. 
Some might describe this feeling as being pogged out of one's own mind. Where are you going, dude? Not here? Oh, hold on, though. Oh, I thought we ruined it. <laughs> this is this is a staggering result for me. This is no longer 10 out of 10. It, it's actually like 30 out of 10. First off, you handle the detritus. You know there's Draculas down here, so just just relax. Not today, demon! Headcrab zombie! You gotta have a, a pair of brass ones, dude. Okay, well, I mean, I, again, nobody's more surprised than me, honestly, but we've done it. You wanna see something cool? Okay, that turns out not cool. Really just a waste of bombs. Not nearly as cool as I thought it was. Where you end up over there? We're not getting the full suite of rubies, dude. I'm screwing it up a little. It's okay. So it looks like we're going to be around 650,000, maybe. Could have... I think the easiest vault... Uh, well, let's just be straight up. I think we could have vaulted... Um, the temple. I think we could have vaulted the jungle and put another, you know, let's say 180,000 on this bad boy. But, I mean, actually, we're going to be at 600... And 93,000. And our third Yama victory out of seven daily challenges. I Nobody's more surprised than me. And yet here we are. This was a hard one too. It's a 48 minute Spelunky run. Well, as always... Good luck to my competitors. Thank you guys for watching. If you're watching this, you know, the day of its release, hey, go check out Golden Goblet Day 3 on Mouth's channel and uh, Dan's channel. To see how much I beat them by. For now, thanks for watching. Subscribe right now. We're getting pogged out of our mind in 2020. Hold on, okay. I hit the A button, I look away. And I close. I did not see. I saw nothing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!